new space shuttle parts and the polar parts hello everybody everybody back again today and we'll be looking at these secret parts inside the game so first of all this isn't a mod this is actually inside the game so we have space shuttle parts now this tab consists of a cockpit which has a working landing gear a payload bay that open and closes wings that also have a landing gear cluster engines for the back of the shuttle which are attached to the aft section then also a ton of different fuel pipes to transfer fuel. On the topic of fuel, there are Keralox, Hydrolox, Metalox, and Hydrazine fuel. We have also seen solid rocket boosters on career mode on mobile, but these ones are much bigger. I have tested these out, and although there is no pume, they do in fact work. And to complete it off, there is what I believe to be an external tank but these cannot be coloured just yet. Now, in a previous video, we saw a Saturn V expansion pack in the Carson Translations file, and then it was removed. Well, it is now back in the file again, but since this is on PC, there aren't any expansions since it's now a one-time purchase. So, could it be coming to mobile? Who knows? Is There is also a new tab named Apollo Booster. Now, the parts in this section do not have names, but we can see quite a lot of USA fuel tanks, along with an engine base, and then the same engine but in a cluster of three. There is also some sort of interstage and this part which I am not too sure what it could be. Then we also have this engine but since this is only beta the textures aren't finished yet, neither are the parts. And if you are enjoying this please do subscribe. Now on something that does mostly work, the Apollo Command and Service module or CSM. So starting at the top we have a launch abort system that will carry the capsule away from the rocket. At the moment, this isn't functional. Then we have the docking port. As seen in the Apollo missions, it's almost the same, and this does work. Then we have a new parachute, which does not deploy at the moment. Onto the capsule, the main control unit. And this is slightly larger than the capsule we currently have in game. Next up is the heat shield. Now, the textures on this aren't complete yet, but this is expected as it is only beta. Then onto the separator. Well, which separates. We also have an Apollo style RCS thrusters, a fuel tank and an Aerojet AJ-10 engine. Then we have this part here which I'm not too sure what it is, however it does have an engine on it, so it could possibly be the lunar landing module, but this is just speculation. Then on to some new engines. Both still called Hawk engines have been slightly modified, so we could possibly see a sea level Hawk engine and maybe a vacuum one. But yet again, this is all speculation. And some small things include this greyed out rocket. I'm not sure what it is or what it will be used for, but... This beta version also has the original Steam capsule texture, as well as max Q effects. So that's mainly it. Leave a comment on what you think of these new parts. I've been Seagull, and I will see you in the next one. Check out how to get these textures on mobile here.